Hi guys, welcome back to Algots. And today in this video, we are going to discuss a problem from Geeks for Geeks. And the name of the problem is Possible Paths. So in this problem, we are given a directed graph. So it means that if there is an edge from vertex A to vertex B, then we can only move from vertex A to B, not B to A. Unlike undirected graphs, in which if there is an edge from A to B, then we can also traverse from B to A. And we are given two vertices U and V. And we have to count all the possible walks or path from u to v with exactly k edges. So it means that if so, we have to count all the path in which the total number of edges which we traverse in that walk or path are exactly k only. So, like if there is a graph, let's say u, then x, then we have a text v, and u is connected with a, then b and then with vertex b and we have to count all the possible box from u to v in exactly k equal to two edges so there is only one path from u to v which has two edges because if we take this path th then our k would be three or basically the total number of edges traverse would be three but there is a restriction that we have to perform this operation in exactly k edges so the total count in this example would be one only so this problem could be solved by using dfs but the implementation of dfs could become very much complex so in this problem or in this video we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming so basically uh, in this video we will use bottom up approach to solve this problem so as we know that in bottom up approach we define a dp array and in this case particularly we are going to define a 2d dp array so now what this dp array will denote so let's say there is a element dp of i comma j so what this element dp of i comma j denotes so this dp of i comma j will denote the count of all possible path or walk from vertex u to vertex i in exactly j edges so this dp of i comma j denotes that the count of all possible path from vertex u to vertex i in exactly j edges so now to understand how we are going to fill this dp array let's take an example which is commonly asked in the comment section so this is the given directed graph in which uh, we have an edge from 0 to 4 1 to 0 4 3 2 and 1 also so the basic point of using a dp in this problem is it also contains self loop so by using dfs approach or a bfs approach it is very difficult to consider these cases also which consist of a self loop also so that's why we are going to use dynamic programming so it also contains edges from 2 to 0 2 to 4 and 2 to 2 also which is a self loop itself and it contains a edge from 3 to 2 4 to 0 and 4 to 3 and 4 to 4 also so basically this is the given example and here in this problem it is also given that we have to count all possible path where u is equals to 2 b equals to 4 and k is also 2 so we have to find all possible walk from u to v which is 2 to 4 so this is our 2 and this is vertex 4 here and we have to solve this problem with k equal to 2 so the total number of edges in that path should be 2 so now let's define our dp array so let's say this is our dp array which is I have presented over here. So now first of all talk about the base case. So what will the what will be the base case in our problem? So here what we are saying that dp of i comma j denote the count of all possible path from vertex u to vertex i in exactly j edges. So now we have to solve this problem for k equal to 2. So the base case would be in how many ways we can reach from vertex u to any other vertex let's say x in exactly zero edges 
and the so, um, and the answer of this problem is simply only u because we can't reach any other vertex in zero edges because we will need at least one edge to visit another vertex so it means that the base case would be we have to fill 0 0 0 0 and at uh, in this case at 2 comma 0 we have to fill 1 which means that we can reach vertex 2 from vertex 2 which is here u itself in one possible way because this is a base case because we are considering zero edges so now now our mean iteration starts so now after uh, filling this base case now we will start filling our other columns in the further loops so now first of all we will iterate over this column 0 and we will fill this column 1 so uh, let's also remember that what this dp of i comma j denotes that in how many ways we can reach vertex i in exactly j edges from source vertex so now here 0 represents that we can't reach this vertex 0 in 0 edges so there is no need to do any work for this element or for this column or this element basically and uh, dp of 1 comma 0 is holding 0 so it means that we can't reach vertex 1 from vertex 2 in 0 edges so we can't do any work for this element also now in this case we are saying that we can reach vertex 2 from vertex 2 in 0, in zero edges so we will do some self work for this element so now what we will do is we know that from vertex 2 we can reach vertex 2 in 0 edges so now we will calculate other vertex which could be reached in one edge so now we will check how many vertices are connect are connected as a neighbor of vertex 2 so we can say that 0 4 and 2 itself is connected in at a distance of one one edge so we can say that we can reach vertex 0 in vert in one edges from vertex 2 because we can say that we can reach vertex 2 in zero edges so we can reach vertex 0 in one edge by using this edge so we will play we will increase its count by one and now its another neighbor is four so we can say that we can reach vertex four in one edge more from vertex two so we will also increment the count of four comma one and also there is an edge from vertex two to vertex two so we can say that we can also reach vertex 2 at a dis from vertex 2 in one edge so we will increment the increment these values and the rest of the values will be zero and since other values are also zero so we can't do any work for these vertexes now we will iterate over this column one so now now actually uh, we will see how this dpr is filling so now we are seeing that from vertex 2 we can reach vertex 0 in one edge so now we will further explore how many vertices or what are the vertices which can be reached from vertex 2 in two edges or basically in exactly two edges so now we will see uh, what are the neighbors of vertex 0 so neighbors of vertex 0 are 4 and yes only 4 so only 4 is connected from 0 so we can say that vertex 4 can be reached from vertex 0 in exactly one edges so basically it means that we can reach vertex 4 from vertex 2 in exactly two edges because we are reaching vertex 0 in one edge so we, we can reach vertex 4 in two edge so initially all the remaining values are 0 now uh, we can't do any work for this element because it's already 0 so now we will do work for this element so now we will explore all the neighbors of vertex 2 so the neighbors of vertex 2 are 0 4 and 2 itself so we can say that at this point we can reach vertex 2 in exactly one edges so how many vertices which we can reach now in two edges so here it's saying that vertex 0 so we can say that vertex 0 could be reached with exactly 
two edges so we will increase the count of vertex zero now vertex four so we can say that we can reach vertex four from vertex two in exactly one edges so we will increase the count of four also and two also so we will increase the count of two also so here we are saying that the vertices which we can reach from vertex two and which are two distance apart from our u so we have increased the count of those vertices and now finally we have to do our work for vertex 4 because there is no path from u to 3 in which we will encounter only one edge so now we will do work for the vertex 4 so we are seeing that how many vertices we can go further from vertex 4 so vertex 4 is connected with 3 0 and 4 so we will increase the count of all these vertices by this one so we can say that we can reach vertex 3 from vertex 4 in exactly one edge and it's previously one so we will add one in vertex 3 and we will also add one in in, the, in vertex 0 so it become 2 and we will also add one in vertex 4 because what does this saying it's saying that we can reach vertex 4 in one edge this is representing this from u to 4 we can take only one edge and after that also in one edge we can reach vertex 4 from vertex 4 itself it's because of the self loop and since now we are come at column 2 and it means that we have found all the vertices which we could reach from vertex u which is 2 in two edges so now we can directly find our answer at dp of v comma k so our answer is present at v comma k which is 4 comma 2 so here our answer is present so now let's also understand from where this answer is coming so now if we again visualize our graph so we can say that what are the three possible path from vertex 2 to vertex 4 so the first path could be since uh, we have an edge from vertex 0 so we can reach vertex 0 and after 0 we can reach vertex 4 so it will take only two edges the second path could be if we take a self loop over 2 and then we will take an edge from 2 to 4 then also we can reach 4 and the another way could be if we take a path from 2 to 4 and at 4 we will take a self loop then also we can reach from vertex 2 to 4 in exactly two edges so these are the three paths which are coming in this dp array and also we can visualize in this dp array also from where this 3 is coming so this from this vertex 2 we can reach these three vertices which are 0 2 and 4 and from 4 we can reach 4 so this is the one path like 2 4 and then 4 because we have taken a self loop on 4 now the another path could be we can reach from 2 to 2 and then we can go to 4 so it's 2 to 2 and then 4 this is also the path and the final path could be from 2 to 0 and 0 to 4 so from 2 to 0 and then 0 to from these three values we are getting this three oh. here so by implementing this in the code we can solve this problem in big of and oh. dot k time complexity